Hi, welcome to the third edition of Sports Encounter with me, Clinton D'Souza. Today we have with us Consul Chinglan Sana, who is also known as Sana Singh. And welcome Sana to our show. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Sana, is, uh, Sana has been a part of the uh, national team under 19 and also he has served for the previous 2016 national team as well. He has played for the IE. He was a part of Delhi Dynamos and now he is with FC Goa. Welcome Sana to FC Goa. Ma, Sana, uh, I want to know how was your journey with regards to football? I started off in Manipur, okay. but then over there, like it was not happening for me mm -hmm. because I was very young and I, my family, my sister was in Mumbai, so he called, uh, she called me to study there. Mm -hmm. So I went to Mumbai, then I was studying in Ryan International School. Mm -hmm. Then that's when I went for Mahindra United selection under 15, and Derek Pereira was the head coach for the senior team, Mahindra team, and it was very happening at that time. Mahindra was one of the giants heavyweights in Indian right. football. Yeah. So to get selected for the under 15 team felt good and that helped me a little bit to convince my family as well but not not to the most yeah not much so i uh, then from there on i moved to air india because mahindra closed down yeah. then i played a season over there under 15 and also i represented on the 19 team of air india then from there i went for the tough football academy yeah. i spent my three and a half years over there and uh i was inculcated and i was trained well you know yeah, so then from there I went to Silong Lazong. Mm -hmm. Then I played for them and two seasons and I had a good season then. That's when I got called up for the national team and also uh, offered by Delhi Dynamos yeah. to play for them in the third season and I had a good season. Mm -hmm. And this season I'm looking forward to do well for FC Goa. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. With regards to football, who's your role model? It's Sergio Ramos. Yeah, of course, with Cristiano and Messi being yeah. one of the best players, mm -hmm. I'm a defender, so Sergio Ramos. Uh, who's, uh, what is, uh, which is your favorite team and your favorite uh, player, international? Uh, Real Madrid okay. and it's Sergio Ramos. Okay. And when I was small, I supported Arsenal, but I still do. Mm -hmm. But then uh, Real Madrid is my okay. team. Uh, share uh, for our viewers with regards to uh, when you came down and you picked by FC Goa, how was your feeling? I feel great, you know. I feel good. I was just hoping like uh, a good team. Any like, all the teams are good in the ISL. Right. So I was just hoping like someone who believes in youth development, someone who believes in uh, the process, you know, right. of a young player. So I saw that FC Goa picked me up, and I was very happy. And I got a lot of messages from friends, family, everyone wishing me. You know, I was in the flight. Yeah. I went to Silong to play a match. Then when I I was coming back to Manipur, then I got a lot of messages on you know Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, and calls. So yeah. feel good, feel good, yeah. yeah. See, now, uh, recently, in the past few weeks, okay, FC Goa has signed an MOU with the Northeast, and yeah. this is uh, basically in, uh, making a more impact kind of and promoting football in Northeast. What are your views over that? It's great, you know, and there are a lot of uh, good young players from the Northeast, yeah. but there are very less platform, very okay. less uh, opportunity, I would say. Yeah. So, FC Goa, I, I'm very happy that to hear that and to acknowledge yeah. that, you know, it's a very good move forward. See, Northeast is known as the hub of football. Okay, yeah. now you're coming from a hub. Yeah. Okay, uh, what is Northeast and Goa to you? Like, what is the difference that you see in Northeast uh, and Goa? See, in Northeast, yeah. I would say it's pretty much similar mm -hmm. because Goa and love football, so right. it's Manipur, so you know yeah. the Northeast. So, yeah, and it's the only sport that we play over there, mm -hmm. and mostly, you know, so football is the main sport that's being played and being followed and being watched, and people like to come to watch a game and all that. So it's good and so yeah and Goa I have seen the fans you know the mm -hmm. Goan fans it's really really amazing last year when I came here to play for Delhi Dynamos I played against FC Goa yeah. the, the fans were amazing yeah. and it was very electrifying and I, I felt good you know even if they, they were not my fans yeah. but then eventually they are my fans yeah. and I'm in the our FC Goa fans so I'm representing them so it feels good yeah, yeah. I remember when I came to uh, Chogli Fitness Centre the other day yeah. when I interviewed you that time you said that uh, you were very passionate, you were happy to see the craze yeah. when you came to the, uh, when you were playing at Fatorda, yeah. Jawal Nehru Stadium. And you said that time also, I want to play in front of this crowd again. Today, this crowd will be supporting you. How is it for you? True, it's a it's really amazing feeling, you know, you never know. Like last season, I was just playing, playing, I was just working hard then. I came across a lot of fans, like the Kerala fans and everything. Mm -hmm. It was nice, but then the Goan fans, it had something else, you know. It right. had something else, some feeling. So, even though the team were losing, but then the, the way they support, the way they back the team, and I saw some banners in the pictures, you know, like 
win lose like we are okay. FC Goa you know okay. that's great that's kind of you know that ups and downs you know mm. they're always behind the team which is great and I'm look forward to do well uh, now you have been in Goa for quite a few days I can say not uh, a month I can say a few days okay what is the thing that you like in Goa uh, I would say everything <laughs> and to be honest uh, I don't like uh, hot weather but but uh, Goa is not hot and it's nice now for yeah, now so yeah. and the league is happening during this uh, not so hot yeah. temperature so it's great and yeah it's nice to be in and people come to Goa like for vacation to have fun yeah. but I'm here to do my job you know? so yeah I'm looking forward to do my job very okay. well okay uh, my next question to you is uh, with regards to playing under Sergio Lobera yeah. how is it feels good and yeah he's young he's a young coach yeah. and he I've heard a lot about him okay. So I look forward to learn a lot from him and he believes in all the players that he has signed and we have a very good meeting and we have, uh, he has uh, good hopes from all the players, mm. you know, from the overseas players as well as the Indian players. Mm. So everything is very optimistic and we are all working very hard, the entire team, to the technical team and everyone. So we look forward to the season and the hard work is on and we look forward to go Spain and give our best and train best and yeah. now you'll be going to Spain for preseason. Yeah. Okay, you'll be in Spain. Like, what is in your mind? It feels great. I always wanted to go to Spain, mm -hmm. you know, because Real Madrid also is from Spain, and so yeah, it's uh, it's a nice place to be in. Uh, I look forward to. I heard a lot about mm -hmm. the good things in Spain, about football, the culture, and everything. So I look forward to going there. But I also I'm aware that uh, we're going there for a reason, you know, hard okay. work preseason. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give my best and we look forward to the, all the matches that we're going to play in Spain mm -hmm. and to do best and as soon as we can gel well, you know, know each other and get as a team, then it will be the best for us. Okay. Uh, I want to know actually we, for the young talent okay, who, are, who, are, who are coming up in the field of football, okay, uh, tell me what are the strengths and the weaknesses that you have gone through to be what you are today? A lot, a lot, to be honest, a lot. because. Uh, at the moment, football is doing very well in India Correct. because of the ISL and the national team doing well yeah. and all the, you know, the atmosphere is very good now. But whereas if you see uh, five to eight to seven, eight years back, yeah. it was not as such. Correct. So back then, uh, you had to convince your family, which is the main thing, you know, like if you're studying and your family wants you to do well in your studies and Correct. not play football and, you know, not get diverted, yeah. but then you have to be special you have to be adamant yeah. you have to know what you want in your life and mm -hmm. you have to prove them that you're good in this and this is what you want to do in your life so yeah so there are a lot of hurdles in my life as well you know yeah. there were times when my brother wanted me to only study and not play football at all so that my person days and everything will be better in school so yeah but then i convinced him by as i said by proving him that you know I want to be a footballer and I by going for trials you know and getting selected and all these things and yeah so pretty much uh, then yeah there were hurdles such as uh, him cutting off my boots and you know I don't have boots to wear crying you know a lot of things like that mm -hmm. but then that made me what I am today and that made me stronger mm -hmm. and so that's pretty much yeah there were a lot of hurdles but then that's fun you know mm -hmm. getting past those hurdles and achieving what you want to achieve mm -hmm. and just the beginning okay. yeah. Uh, if Sana wasn't a footballer, what would Sana be in life? Uh, most probably I would be an officer because that's my mom wants, you know. Okay. Uh, so, yeah.
training? What was it like? Uh, it was nice. We got to know each other and it was a good training today. It was nice. Uh, any, any thoughts on first day under training under Coach Lobera? Any, any thoughts yeah. on the style? It's very nice. It's more like Spanish. Like you know, like we play more like short passes and many passing drills, and everything is with the ball. So it was a pretty good uh, session, and I'm looking forward to more now. Uh, we have very high expectations, and we are very we are a group of young boys here. So uh, the management has trusted in us, and they're invested heavily on the youth. Like so, I'm young, and many of the players are also young. So and yeah, this season we want to stand up to the club's expectation. That is winning the trophy. And that's what we're going to aim for and we're going to give our best and I'm going to give my best and uh, help the team uh, contribute to winning the title and I'll give my best. Sana, you, uh, you, you being from the northeast where uh, football has really flipped uh, in the last few years, what would be your message to the Goan fathers? Uh, See, northeast has been yeah, a hub for Indian football but then even Goa is as well. When I came here last time playing for Delhi Dynamos against FC Goa, it was a great crowd and I wanted to play in this kind of crowd, you know. So, and I'm lucky that I got this opportunity to play this season for FC Goa. So, I look forward to it and uh, as I said, uh, I'm, me and one of, my, one of the players from the Notice in Goa, so I'm glad that FC Goa trusted in me and the Notice boys, like, you know, so looking forward to it. Any message that you have for the under-17 squad, uh, Indian squad? Yeah, I wish them all the very best and uh, I am from Manipur myself and there are eight players from Manipur, that's very great. And to all the other players as well, I wish them all the very best and uh, give your best and enjoy the game and we are all supporting the under-17 football team. See, uh, that's the main sport that's being played over there, you know, they are crazy about that uh, sport in football, which is the main sport in uh, Manipur. So. It's uh, but obvious that you know there are many players who comes out as a footballer because that's the only sport being played uh, mainly. So that's one of the reasons. And also, Ampa is doing a good job, I would say. And uh, there are many players who wants to be, and there are many role models. You know, every generation, every decade. So it keeps going. So for me, uh, it's it's a long story, but then I'll just cut it off. Uh, I went to Mumbai and I met Coach Derek, who is my now my assistant. Uh, I I played for the under 15 team in Mahindra. He was the senior team coach. Then uh, from there I moved to Tata Football Academy. Then that's when I started and graduated in 2015. I joined Shilong Lajong. Then uh, I joined uh, Delhi Dynamos and now FC Goa. So just third season in the, this one and I'm very happy so far. And lastly you went to Old Goa yesterday yeah. along with the, the whole team yeah. and staff was there and it was a special mass. What yeah. was it like? Uh, it was a good feeling. As you know, if, when you go to a holy place, you feel good, you know, you feel holy. So that's what one of the feelings. Uh, it was a team gathering as well and we started off the season with a prayer together. So it was a good feeling. And uh, Yeah, uh, we prayed and we asked for God's help because no matter how much we work hard, you know, we need luck, we need this thing as well from God's blessing. So yeah, we look forward to the season ahead, all positives. Thank you, Sana. Any other yeah. questions? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, thank you so much. We have Sana still with us and Sana, we shall go ahead. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, tell me the difference between playing for ISL and the Indian national team. Okay, you have been a part of both yeah. the national team under 19 and also for the senior team as well. And you have played for Delhi Dynamo the last year. So uh, tell me how is it? Uh, the difference, uh, yeah. see, in the national team, uh, you are representing the country. Yeah. I don't know, it's a different feeling. Oh, and. Uh, Feels great to be honest. Uh, so I made my debut in Bhutan, okay. you know, which was an unofficial match. But then you're playing for the country after all. Okay. So I'm very thankful to Stefan Constantine for giving me the opportunity. Not only me, to all many of the young players, you know, who are part of the national team. Mm -hmm. He believes in us, and we have to work hard. And in the camp, it's like you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. You have to train your best and to get to the level internationally, you know. Mm -hmm. And in the clubs. Uh, yeah, you train well, you represent the, the club and there are certain uh, objectives in the club that you need to achieve, you know, yeah. winning the league uh, and all these things. So, yeah, so everywhere it's always hard work and be disciplined and everything. See, now your position is at the centre back, okay? Yeah. How does Sana keep himself fit to be in his position? Uh, as I said, you have to be disciplined, you have to make... No, the thing that we do as a footballer is not always all, all, only on the field. Mm. In the field you walk, the most of the time you spend off the field. Mm. So it's important what you do off the field, like mm. uh, like watching video, analyzing, you know, a centre back, a player who is playing in your position at the top level, like mm. for example, Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva, mm. Rio Ferdinand, you know, all these players. So 
you watch, you learn, and you progress. And after training, you reanalyze yourself, like what mistake you have done and what you could do better. And so it's every day. It's a progress. And it's a process to learn and to move on. And yeah, as a centre back, you, as I said, you need to read the game well. And in modern uh, modern games, uh, there's high demand of a centre back, very comfortable with the ball. Mm. That's what I'm trying to do my best uh, and one of my strengths as well. So yeah, so these are certain things that uh, as a centre back or as a player you should be following and you have to be disciplined and you have to maintain yourself and you need to know your body, mm. you need to know yourself what's good and what's bad and be a professional. Now, uh, Sana, uh, I wanted to ask you more with regards to your position itself. Okay? okay. What are the strategies that you have kept in mind or you have already been planning to get the cup home this year? Uh, to concede less goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a defender, your main target is to not concede goals, mm -hmm. to keep a clean seat. Correct. You never lose a game if you don't concede. Mm -hmm. You know, right. at the worst, you get one point and it's a draw. You know, yeah. you are not losing. So that's my main objective as a defender, and. I want to contribute as much as I can. I'll give my everything, my best for FC Goa. And we are all working very hard and we are all focused to achieve our targets and the club targets, the management targets, you know, which is winning the cup. And Goa is a team that believes in winning the cup and mm. that's why they've invested in us, in the youth and all the team, all the players. So yeah, we go to the season with this objective and as a player, as my uh, objective will be like, to give my best and to keep a clean sheet as much as I can okay. and win matches for FC Go. Yeah. This year FC Go has a new management. Yeah. How is it? I'm I'm looking forward to I'm here uh, from the past two weeks and mm -hmm. I look forward to and I find it very nice, you know. The media team, the technical team, the supporting team and the management, everyone seem to be very uh, supportive and good for communication, you know, which is uh, very important because uh, you need to feel comfortable while communicating, yeah. you know, you need to feel free to express your opinions and everything. So it's it's good. It's good. Okay. What are your future plans Sana? We was wanna know like your what is Sana's future plan? As a footballer? Yeah. Yeah. Football. Uh, to be part of the national team always. Okay. And to play as long as uh, okay. you can, you know, mm -hmm. like for the national team. And to do well for FC Goa of course. And and yeah, that's pretty much for my side and to be at my best every s and I want to do better every season, you know, so that's one of my objectives. Uh, Sana, FIFA is right at the corner. One message for the Indian team. I wish them all the very best and see, uh, I know them when I was with India on the 19 mm -hmm. team, you know, I was with them, uh, the players, they were under 14 at that time. Mm -hmm. So these boys are uh, being t put up together from the last three to four years. Mm -hmm. So they know each other well. Mm -hmm. They uh, they understand their each other's game and everything. So my message would be to them: uh, show the unity and feel free, no pressure. Enjoy the football, and you guys will do well. Go there, get it. All the best, guys. Now, uh, in fact, I think you guys are going to Spain. Okay, yeah. you're going to miss the FIFA. Okay, then like yeah, half a pretty much. How are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, it's sad to be honest, <laughs> but then I'll follow up. Uh, we'll mm. follow up through the internet, and mm. if we can watch the game, you know, there we'll watch. And yeah, that's all we can do. And it's important for us to be in Spain, and you know, to train because we're also preparing for the season. Mm. So we can't miss that out. So, and of course, we'll follow up the World Cup uh, through all the possible way we can. Okay, so now we'll have a short rapid fire. Yeah, you should be quick. We yeah. have just one. Five seconds, I guess. Okay. Max, okay. Yeah. Sana's favorite color? Blue. Uh, uh, Sana's favorite brand? Adidas. Okay. Uh, Sana's favorite cuisine? International? Uh, Chinese. Uh, favorite dish? Manipuri dishes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, favorite place in Goa? Um, Kalangut. Okay. Uh, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Favorite holiday destination? It's Spain. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the favorite uh, coach that you admire in terms of cl English clubs or the league uh, clubs? Didn't you done? Okay. Favorite player? Sergio Ramos. Okay. Uh, one message for the uh, upcoming football talents in Goa. All the very best. Work hard. Believe in yourself. You can achieve it. And for the in the field of football in India, upcoming talent for them. Same. 
Yeah, pretty much the same. <laughs> okay, fine. My last, and we'll wind up now. Okay. Uh, one message for the upcoming football talent in Goa. Okay, the FC Goa fans, uh, the and people who are going to come and watch you at Fatorda and also all of India. Yeah. Uh, to the FC Goa fans, what I would like to say is, come out in big numbers, support us. You are the 12th man, and we need your support to give our best, and we will give our best in every game, and we won't let FC Goa down, and we'll do our best to get all the results in a positive way, and to win many matches and get a cup back to the goal, and that's what. Come out, support in big numbers. See you there. Okay. Thank you, Sana, for being a part of yeah. the show. Uh, and thank you for being a part, especially on uh, Goa 365 also. That was Sana Singh. Sana Singh has made his strategy and made his mind that he's going to give the cup home this year for the Goans. Keep watching Goa 365.